Welcome to the Beer Den Podcast. Tonight we'll be drinking Bell's Brewery's Sparkleberry Raspberry Belgian Style Ale. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Beer Den Podcast. My name is Ethan Hoopy. And I'm Michael LaRoe. Tonight we're drinking Bell's Brewery's Sparkleberry Raspberry Belgian Style Ale. They're based out of Comstock, Michigan. Comstock. <laughs> Every time. This one is an interesting beer because when we picked it up, we actually thought it was a sour. We didn't look too much at the label. We just saw a beer we hadn't tried yet and we it, grabbed it. It kind of has all the uh, common telltale signs. Yeah, telltale of, signs of a of sour, sour beer. Sour beer. It, and you so know, we kind of assumed that that's what it was. And, yeah. and we were wrong. It's actually a triple style. It pours a nice red color and it actually has a light pink head to it that sticks around lacing wise. It's an all right amount of time, not as long as some other ones that we've had. Yeah, but it definitely doesn't dissipate super quickly. Either. It's there just lightly. Uh, aroma wise, very strong on the raspberry, but even more than that, I think it was just an overall tartness that I picked up on. Yeah, I would agree with that. This beer is actually it looks almost identical to like a juice. Like you're it if you want some sort of a frame of reference, like it it looks like juice. And to a degree, kind of tastes like juice as well. Mm -hmm. It's adult juice. It's adult juice. Yeah. Tell that to your kids when you open up your six pack at 7 a.m. It's Um, adult juice. (laughs) Daddy's adult juice. (laughs) Mommy and daddy need this to get through the day dealing with your dumbass. (laughs) Then you hit him. Child abuse is not a joke, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Anyway, flavor wise, like I picked up on like a natural raspberry it's kind of a weird thing to describe it as like a natural raspberry taste but like it didn't taste overly like it wasn't like laffy taffy raspberry yeah there you go like you know how like if you get like a blue raspberry slushy yeah and it's like super like this is super raspberry flavor almost to the point where it doesn't even taste like raspberries yeah this is a bit more what you would expect from right. like this is like a natural raspberry flavor it's subtle but very raspberry like it's yeah yeah. You can tell it was made with like real raspberries. It wasn't like some flavoring or something like right. that. Um, again, very crisp, very tart. I think my main takeaway from it, it was a very tart flavor. Yeah. And especially with it not being a sour is surprising. It wasn't exactly sour. It was just very tart. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> it's difficult to like explain it much past that because it's, it's tart. Like uh, there's no better way to like. Yeah. Explain that it's tart other than saying it's tart. I thought it had a, a decently drying body. I felt as I drank more of it, I kind of was like trying to get saliva. Like yeah. I really had to like do that kind of thing to to get it. I kind of um, fe- I felt like it had sort of a medium to hot medium high uh, drying effect. I, I didn't think it was nearly as bad as a lot of uh, IPAs that we've had, but it's definitely very drying for it being such a fruity sweet beer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it was kind of unexpected that how drying it was. It had a a slow carbonation. I felt it was described to be pretty effervescent. It actually drew some similarities to like a dry wine or almost like a maybe a fruity champagne. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, But I felt like the carbonation wasn't super quick or anything. Flavor wise, again, natural raspberries and definitely a tartness to it. We base everything on three criteria. We have quality, value and design. I scored this a 30 out of 50 for quality the overall flavor while it was a nice natural raspberry flavor it's not one that i favor in my beer um i'll definitely try raspberries and i guess part of me thinks it's going to be like a blue jolly rancher or something but that's never what it is and so it kind of leaves me disappointed and this was no exception to that i didn't 
it wasn't exactly that raspberry flavor that I guess I envisioned for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I ended up giving it a 35. It's almost like a cider. Okay. And I almost kind of wish that they would have just foregone the Belgian triple, maybe just made it into a cider. I think uh, this one actually would have been very close to doing a cider, actually. Yeah. I thought it was fairly smooth throughout the drinking experience. It just, like you say, it had that uh, tartness to it, which kind of stopped you from drinking too much in one time. You almost needed to take a break in between sipping it. But I thought that overall the flavor was pretty good. Uh, It's definitely fruity and something that's kind of a lighter drink to have it's if you're not really in the mood for beer if you have this this is a great alternative that you're not going to really notice that you're drinking beer when you're drinking something like this value wise i scored this at a 15 it does come in at 1440 for a four pack if you can find it in a four pack we found this as a single can at about 480 for a can um, that comes out to about fourteen forty for a four pack. If you factor in that these are sixteen ounce cans, you end up every three cans getting like a full twelve ounce. Yeah. Uh, back on that, I thought that that was a decent price for a four pack of something that's a little bit uh, rarer with it being a triple. Yeah, I and I actually ended up giving it a fourteen. So just under yours, the price is actually pretty comparable to a lot of sour ales that we've had. Um, And this definitely reminds me of a sour ale, just it not being sour. So I I felt like it was it was fairly reasonably priced. But even with the sours, a lot of the time it's a bit too expensive when you could go for something else that is probably as flavorful and it being more in line with like maybe a 14 for a six pack. So you're getting like two extra beers and it's probably just as, as good. But if you're looking for something for this specific flavor for a 14 value, I mean, it's, it's reasonable design wise. I scored this at an 18. I love the can design. I love that. It's not only just like a 12 ounce can, but it's a 16 ounce can. It has the Bell's logo on it very clearly above the name. Uh, Sparkleberry actually has kind of like a, it has sparkle or like a galaxy kind of look to it. Uh, So it adds on to its namesake. It has like the raspberry pink coloring throughout with the raspberry on the the, uh, can itself. It has an alcohol content of 9%. It doesn't have the canning date, and it doesn't exactly have the best by date, but it does have a shelf life tag of six months. Yeah. I mean, we don't know when it exactly hit the shelf, so we like would rather see either when it expires or when it was canned or bottled. Yeah. Uh, this does have the call to the website, which I appreciate. Um, but overall, and also, like, it doesn't really have a description. It has Sparkleberry is slightly tart with effervescent ruby red hue but i mean that doesn't really give you too much of like what you're going to experience with it i guess i'd like to see a little bit more of an in-depth analysis of it i guess yeah exactly that's usually what i prefer to this is just more of a extended title than an actual like description but i ended up actually giving it the exact same score at an 18 i thought that it was a well put together bottle there's definitely a few things i wish it had like the best buy or or even the uh can date but the apv is clearly labeled i I do wish that it had a description that probably would have gotten it up into the 20s for me i don't really consider that kind of expanded title a description it's nice it's still appreciated but i wish it had more of a description on it i mean it's a well put together can it draws your attention to it there's enough facts on it that you could you could make an educated decision on whether you're going to like it or not i think that's fair so overall that's going to give it a 67 for you ethan a 63 for myself Averaging those two out, we have a 65 for Bell's Brewery's Sparkleberry Raspberry Belgian Style Ale. Hey everybody, thank you for listening to another Beer Den Review. Don't forget to follow us on social media, links down in the description.
Subscribe, like, and share. And if there are any beers you would like us to try out, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you on the next episode of the Beer Den Podcast. Thank you.